Right, folks, how are we all? Do you remember that, the old um, Tales of the Unexpected? Fucking brilliant, used to love that. And they used to have like all the actors from the 70s, didn't they, and the 80s who used to be in it. And it was one, of, it was like the thing to be in. It was a bit like League of Gentlemen. Um, there always used to be a twist at the end of the tale and they used to have that woman going, do, 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 do. Yeah, it used to be good. I like that. Hammer House of Horror and all that. Um, if you ever get a chance to watch these things, Hammer House of Horror and Tales of the Unexpected, absolutely brilliant. Joan Collins used to be in quite a lot. I'll tell you what, Joan Collins, yeah. I, I mean, she, what she is, is she now 80 something, 80 fucking six or something? And like, I seen her in the paper the day and I thought, yeah. That didn't really, but you know what I mean? I thought, yeah, she don't look too bad for her age. So anyway, um, so are you. Stupid dog. Um, so anyway, I don't know what I was on about. I completely lost what I was on about. Anyway, uh, me and June, we've just been working, uh, doing some decorating, not in this house, in another house. Mm. Um, and uh, I come back and I thought, I want to review some cider. Uh, I was in cost cutters the other day and I seen these ciders. Take that off, it might make the picture a bit better. Now I've took my glasses off and I can't see fuck all, I'm like this. Trying to look at you lot. Um, so anyway, I picked these up. I've no idea how much they are. If, if you're buying drink, it's a luxury, isn't it, nowadays? Because let's face it, the cost of everything, you, you can't afford to do anything. You can't, you can't afford to do anything, really. So, you know, ciders and beers and stuff should be a, put back on one side. Because obviously feeding food into the family is more important than you getting wankered. I mean, you should still have a wank, but don't get wankered, if you know what I mean. Get rid of the badness. So anyway, I've had a, a, a quick look on YouTube and see um, who's actually reviewed these. Um, because I like to do this. I like to go and have, I, I mean, I've not watched any of these reviews, but I like to do my review. And then hopefully you good people out there will go over to these other channels and have a look at their reviews. So what I'm trying to do is promote other channels because that's what I like to do. This YouTubing thing, it's, 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 it's not the best of places to be sometimes, but if I can spread a couple of extra views to people, then all the good in the world might happen. You know, Zelensky and Putin might shake hands. Joe Biden might just fuck off. And I might, might, to get, might, might get to meet Tom McDonald. Tom McDonald is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. If you've not seen Tom McDonald, where the fucking hell you been? Now, uh, people who have reviewed this Diamond Cider uh, is Andy's Beer Reviews. And he's uh, he did it three months ago. Uh, Rate My Beer, uh, they did it one year ago. And uh, 21st Century Caveman, he did it two years ago. And fucking hell, he's... <laughs> It's only two minutes, 25 long. <laughs> well, that's more. I didn't even open it and I've gone longer. Um, I've had worst. Do like him. Very good. Uh, Channel Fland, Channel Fadge. He did it seven years ago. Hmm. Uh, and that's about it. Oh, there's me. Night Cider. Hmm. Teeth whitening. You do watch some shit on these things, don't you? Well, there's me again, Frosty Jack Cider. 18,000 18, of you have watched Frost, me drink Frosty Jack. Have you lot gone fucking mad? Um, and that's about it, folks. So, I don't know the price of it. Um, medium sweet, crisp and refreshing, premium apple cider, triple filtered, gluten free, so there's no gluten in here. Uh, vegan friendly as well, so there's, you know, vegan friendly, you know, does vegan friendly, when, when you say vegan friendly, <whistles> oi, pack it in. Uh, when you say vegan friendly, do, do these vegans realize that in some places they might actually have used uh, insecticides and stuff on the apples to kill the insects so surely that means you've killed an animal to have your drink 
I mean, because it don't say it's not. It doesn't say anything about it being organic. Um, imported by BDI Limited, Level Three, Therma House, Malta, Premium Apple Cider with sugar and sweeteners. Fucking hell, this is going to be Trump juice in it. Uh, Diamond Premium Cider has grown from a small seed sown in Somerset. Uh, expertly crafted with over 100 years of cider making knowledge each can contains the medium sweet juices of these fine dessert apples and is triple filtered for your pure, purer cider and cleaner refreshing taste our vegan friendly cider pairs perfectly with a large variety of cuisine uh, cuisine uh, uses no artificial flavors and contains fewer calories than many other alcoholic beverages why you recommend consuming chilled or over ice for the most enjoyable serve Somebody's going to start time stamp this now to six minutes for when I start pouring it. Squeeze every bit out. Now I can smell the apples from here. Oh, four inches away. So four inches <laughs> it has got a smell of sitting in the side sitting in a park cider so let's uh let's sup him dry there you go I reviewed it in a minute the actual thing that is fucking dry there is no medium sweet in that Now this is 6.8 in a 5 milliliter can. I think it was only about, what was it, six pounds something for the four cans. Six pound 58 I think. Um, it's medium sweet. I don't consider that medium sweet. That does just taste like biting into a cooking apple. My granddad, <coughs> my granddad Sid, had an orchard with chickens in it and chickens sometimes got killed by the fox. My granddad wasn't happy when he found 20 fucking chickens. Uh, well, no, there were 19 chickens killed and one had gone. Um, and um, they used to have an orchard with cooking apples and like a golden delicious apple. And um, I used to eat the cooking apples and it, it does dry your mouth up. But then my grandma would cook her cooking apple, make some apple crumble and apple pies and stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, they tasted all right. But to eat a cooking apple raw, you're fucking mad. And that is what that tastes like. It tastes like drinking cooking apple stuff. I personally, folks, would say don't buy it. <laughs> if you're going to drink that, you're on a park bench. If you're going to drink that, that's the kind of stuff. You know when you're going out with your friends, right? If you've got any friends, you might not have any friends. And if you're going out with your friends <clears throat> on a night out, 
Now, my, back in my day, I never used to do that because I could drink quite sensibly all through the night and get fucking drunk at the end of the night and still be happy. But nowadays, people can't afford to do that. And that is if you had four cans of that before you went out, obviously you won't be drinking as much as you're out and about. And that's what that is. 6.8% on a multi-pack. Um, why did he call it diamond though? Why is it diamond cider? Because it is not a fucking diamond. That is not a diamond of any kind. If the British Empire had taken that from a country years ago, and they'd be, they wouldn't want this back. Nobody in the right mind would want this back. Um, yeah, it'll get you pissed. It'll get you pissed. Get pissed for under seven quid. That could be the logo for it. That could that could be that could be their advertising slogan. Get pissed for less than seven quid. Because at six point eight, it's not affected me. And that's not big and that's not clever. That's fucking hell. I've got two cans of that left and all. I'll give up Dillard when he comes. It, it, it's not big and it's not clever, but it. I, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't waste your money. There is better drinks out there. Um, Madre, just go buy Madre. That's the thing. Madre, if you're there, if you listen to this, I. I Sponsor, I'd sponsor you. It all, you'd get... Fucking they're sticking out, wouldn't they? Take that cold. Um, see, that's the other thing. You've got to have the ability to laugh at yourself. If you don't laugh at yourself, you're fucked. Now, come on, everybody, right nipples. <laughs> I fucking love laughing at myself. It's one of the best things you can do. So you can take the piss out of yourself. You'll go a long way in life. Uh, because what it does, it beats you fucking lot for saying it. Um, right, so to, to round this up. Um, yeah, it's it's a drink that will get you pissed. It's not a quality drink. It is fucking tramp juice. It's a fucking... If, if you see a homeless person and you bought them that, they would love you forever. But in other words, I'd go and buy something else because... Yeah. It's it's not that good. <sighs> Laters.